This is a Smith & Wesson 65-6, 357 Magnum, and will also shoot 38 specials. Uh, these were made by Smith & Wesson between 1972 and 2004. Uh, they were made primarily for law enforcement, uh, and they were used extensively uh, across the nation by law enforcement during that time period. Pretty common Smith & Wesson revolver. Uh, there's some things about it that we'll cover here that are, are pros, some things that are cons. Uh, you can tell by looking at it. We'll just start with some of the, the things that I, I would want to know. Um, I think right off the bat, you'll notice like we're dealing with fixed sights. There's nothing that's adjustable here. Uh, these are just hard sights. Pretty basic rear. And then the front your normal sight nothing adjustable it is what it is right this one's stainless steel four inch barrel six shots uh, pretty standard from that standpoint nothing crazy about it um, I would say some of the good things about it one it's got some weight weighs a couple of pounds um, doesn't recoil too bad either uh, four inch barrel 357 magnum can expect it to, to be loud and have some muzzle flip to it uh, a nice little shooter. It does double action and single action. Uh, really nice trigger pull on it too. It's not too stiff, not a lot of trigger creep, especially, well, obviously in single action. Uh, doesn't have a lot of trigger creep at all. I know Smiths are fairly notorious for having really nice and crisp triggers on their single action. And this one is no different. Uh, there's still a lot of these floating around out there. Um, and they can be had for a decent price, too. I honestly forget what I paid for this, but it, it wasn't a ton, I can tell you that. Uh, it's a really nice little shooter. Uh, I like to carry it, like, out in the woods. Um, you know, it's a little heavy for, like, a concealed carry type of gun. It's a four-inch barrel, obviously. Uh, but I, I love it. Like, it's been great. If I were going to change anything about it, I, I wish it had adjustable sights. Uh, but you're getting what you're paying for here. Like this is more of your service style revolver that's meant for, you know, closer range use, duty use. Uh, I wouldn't call it a range queen or anything of that nature. I um, mean, you know, I've shot it on a range plenty of times, but it's not one that I would go out and, you know, really try to dial in tight groupings like I would maybe an older Colt Trooper or a Colt Python or some of your higher end Smiths. Um, now these 65-6, uh, um, it was based on the Model 13. So like if you've had a Model 13 out there, you'll see some similarities about it. Uh, really nice shooter. Uh, and it's, it's done well with every uh, grain, every ammo that I've shot through it, whether it's been full metal jackets or hollow points, uh, it's been really accurate. Uh, the only thing I can say, and it might just be me, I have been less accurate, accurate with it with, th with 38 specials. Um, and that, that can happen with 357 Magnums. Uh, but still, like I've shot it great with, with 38 specials. Uh, it, it's been really accurate with them too. Really nice gun. Easy to take care of. I love the stainless on it. Like I really do love the stainless. I have no problem with blues either. You can see I've got the old Smith M1917 there above it. Um, this has been a great shooter. It, it really has. Uh, if you see one out there and you're looking for something that's basic, no frills, ready to rock and roll and do what you need it to do, you know, whether it's out in the woods or farm or something of that nature, it's a great gun to carry. Um, only thing I can really point out that I haven't been big on is, you know, if you wanted adjustable sights, you'd be looking for something else. But again, the upside of that is you're not going to knock it into anything and, you know, knock your sights off because it's fixed. Really nice gun. I'd say I recommend it. Shoots great. Uh, real comfortable in the hand. Um, yeah, it's, it's been a champion.